Hello and welcome to a film analysis of the film The Naked Kiss. I don't really know much about The Naked Kiss, to be honest, but I know it's a neo-noir film, which I really, really want to incorporate to my foundation piece. So I have what so I want to analyse it to see how it's used and what the characters are like and how can I incorporate all of these elements into my film opening. And right from the get-go, we get an ident. This ident shows that this is a professional product made by a group of pe- a group of highly skilled team of professionals that know what they're doing. The can it connotes like connotes or signifies that this group of people is talented and knows what they're doing, which is a good thing to see. The ident is important for a film opening as it gives the audience that like seal of approval. This is not going to be a crap film. This is going to be a, a, a genuine, quite well written and directed film because it gives us that like feeling of safety and of hope that this is going to be a good film. The music you the soundtrack used is very is like not yeah very for its time. It don't really make sense, but let me explain. It's this film was made in the sixties, so the soundtrack is gonna reflect that because this is based in fiction. It's not gonna be like a sci-fi adventure off in like planet Zorp or something. It's it's grounded very much in reality. And it's neo it's um noir style or not neo noir, it's noir style is used as a way to kind of yeah, kind of well it has no other choice because the filming technology at the time wasn't as advanced, but when films like Sin City come out, which is a neo noir film, they incorporate that purposely, giving that kind of um feeling of it's going to be mysterious and all um, etheric, mis- yeah, going to be mysterious. Straight away we're getting to some action of this woman just beating on this man. We don't know what's going to happen yet, but the POV shot of the man shows us that this person's getting beaten the crap out of. We don't know, for we don't know why. This opens up, this begs the question, like, why is he, why is he getting beaten up? Why is it that, and this also plays off the um, male gaze theory of it's a man getting beaten up, not the woman, which is kind of like the stereotypical generic use of um, a of a couple. This woman is beating him for we don't know why. And the music used is jazz, so it's quite light-hearted, which plays a massive contrast between this and what's happening in the opening. Like the music's all happy, jumpy, it's all very light. Well, the action in it is just it, people get beaten up, so. It's kind of like a oxymoron, in a sense. I like how the camera kind of flicks between POV of each character. Like, it's the POV of the woman, like, hitting him with some sort of slipper or, like, a shoe. And it goes to the man where it's just get, where the camera's being all shaky because he's getting beaten up. This shows that... Uh, this shows, or connotes that the man doesn't know what's happening. It's very, very confusing. It switches POV shots, kind of like each time he gets hit. So when he's about to get hit, it's the POV shot of the man. But when he gets hit, it's a POV shot of the woman. Kind of shows, like, the differentiation of power in this scenario. I'm drunk, Kelly, please. That shows that he is kind of like like, he is kind of like a low level, like this woman is above him. This kind of relates to the femme fatale kind of mentality of the film that is, that's going. It, it's going towards, like, this woman is stronger than the man, where it's stereotypically, stereotypically the other way around. And he, he, he is now pleading for her to stop. So he's like, 
he's wanting her to stop. He's wanting her to like stop get stop him getting from beating up. But she's not having it. She's pro- she's proper having is her way with this man, which relates to the femme fatale kind of like theme, which relates to the new, which relates to the noir, which is like mysterious. We don't know what, why she's being like this, why she's beating on this man. And the smashing of objects kind of reinforces that this is a violent scene. And as he tries to stop her, the the man pulls a wig from the woman, showing that she is kind of like a she kind of like reflects that she is like a monster, like she's beating on him, which is kind of, at the time in the nineteen sixties, which is very 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 like, uncalled for and very kind of, like, it's not really taboo, but no one's really seen a, a woman getting beaten up by a man. So what they've, what they've done is they've kind of stripped away some feminine features of her, which was her lack of hair. But an alternate look at it is that she may have changed herself because of the man, which kind of relates to the 1960s, how women were seen as inferior. And this shows that she is a strong, independent woman, and she and she needs no one. She just needs herself. And after that, the beatings get worse. She's proper going at him now. She's prop. She's probably like. Beating on him when she's when he's trying to take the, like the shoe or slipper away from him, she goes in like she is like an uncaged beast. This relates to the femme fatale kind of character, and still the soundtrack, the non the non diegetic sound shows that it's kind of like like um, which is like hearted and happy, which is a complete contrast between this op- between the opening which has been presented to the audience. Also, the only diegetic sound which is being used are bangs, which kind of reinforces the fact that this is violent. She is beating on this man. For we we and we still know we still don't know the reason why. When we see the woman frantically taking something from him. And as, as after she like sprayed him down with water or alcohol, and he's and he's kind of like gone after this point because he's not he's kind of like had enough. He's like, oh, I don't want to be beaten anymore. So just kind of like gives up. Or an alternate view is she's beating him so much that he is like become kind of like dazed and confused. Like he's like, whoa, what's happening? So now she is taking that as an advantage and stealing from him, which is basically. And he's taken, and she is taking her wallet, his wallet, I mean, not her wallet, that'd be a bit odd, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, let me take out my own wallet and steal it from myself. She she is taking his wallet, showing that she is in control, she is the she is the power in this situation, she is above him, which is kind of showing like the position of the characters as well. He is low, he is like lying down, he is defenceless, while she is above him and rising and is not faltering in her assault. She also calls him a parasite, which relates back to the kind of like power, sh- the power shift and the power shift and the uh, like. She's in control. She's in control. She is like she wants to get this money. She's like, I'm getting what's owed to me. She's being dominant in this situation, which relates back to her stance, her the the position of the camera, which is like focusing on her, which is like. She's not in the middle of the camera. She may as well will be. She may as well be because she, the only people that the only person that the audience is looking at is her. 50, 60, 70, 70. 
And as she's slapping the money down on the man, that kind of reinforces how violent she is, how, like, she is powerful. She is, she is like, laying down her law. Like, she wants to get this money. As she gets up, she kicks him, which kind of reinforces what I've already said. Now he's knocked out, and it goes back to that, like she is in control, like, like she is above him, literally and literally and metaphorically, she is in control. Like she's taken the money off him, off him, so it's taken off some of his pride, uh, and the ca how the camera, how the camera's positioned. It's shown that he is low and she is high, and the neo noir style kind of serve this serve this really really well, as it shows that she is kind of like the yeah the femme fatale like she is the power, and it also kind of gives us that intrigue because of how neo noir is, not neo noir like noir because it was the sixties neo noir is like films like Sin City. This shows that she is powerful, like I've said and in control. I feel like it's a, like this is the final scene that I'm probably going to analyze because it goes she's and as the title sequence goes she is like getting ready, becoming another, bec like becoming the female that she was represented to be, how she, how society wants her to act and be like, which um, she's got, she, she's getting rid of her like violent, like warrior self and going back to the dainty female. So she's like, kind of like a, uh, like a trap almost. So, hold on. Yeah, that's about it. All right, hope you enjoyed the opening. Um, opening analysis. I enjoyed writing it over because it's quite fun to analyse these openings. I may not be very good at them, but I find them very, very fun. Right, so see you in a bit. Thanks for watching.